Hare Krishna, my friends. It's me, Andrea. Thank you so much for joining me for another Krishna Kids story. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of Govardhan Puja. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. First, let's introduce our favorite blue boy. Oh, Hari Bo, Krishna, Hari Bo. Well, Krishna was noticing that his father, Nanda Maharaj, and the other cowherd men were getting ready to offer a puja to Indra. And he knew that Indra, the king of the demigods, was getting a bit puffed up. He thought he was so important and that everything was happening because of him. But that's not the truth. Everything happens because of God, of Krishna, and Krishna empowers everyone. So he convinced his father to give the puja from Indra to Govardhan, the hill in Vrindavan, where they fed all their cows and all their livelihood was coming from Govardhan. And Govardhan, Krishna explained, was the same as Krishna, as Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Not Krishna the boy, because you know, his parents, not the Maharaj and Mother Yashoda, think he's just a little boy. So he said, it's great to offer the puja to Govardhan Hill because it'll be like offering it to God. So they put everything together and they started offering it to Govardhan Hill. They brought all the sweets, all the food. And then once it was offered, it was prasadam. And they started offering it to the cows and the Brahmins and everybody that lived there got to have prasadam. And it was a wonderful feast. And they also went all around Govardhan Hill. They did a parikram. <gasps> Haribo, Haribo. So they had a beautiful time doing Govardhan Puja. But you know, everyone was happy except one person. Who do you think wasn't happy? Hmm. <gasps> Looks like Indra. Look at his face. He's so angry. Well, he was so angry that they had taken away his puja that he decided he was going to show them. And he thought... That little boy in Vrindavan thinks that he's all that. Well, I'm going to show them. Well, he forgot that Krishna was God. So he'd started raining. It started raining and thundering and lightning. There was hail coming down. Oh my goodness. And it was so dangerous that everybody in Vrindavan got really scared. And they were like, help, help. Krishna, help us. Well, Krishna always listens to his devotees and tries to help them. So he said, don't worry, my devotees, I will help you. And he went in front of the devotees and gathered everyone around. Everyone come, come from Vrindavan. And then all of a sudden he lifted Govardhan Hill with his pinky. And he was holding it like an umbrella over everybody that lived in Vrindavan, not just the people, but the cows and all living beings were taking shelter under Govardhan Hill with Krishna. And you'd think it would be really scary, but no, nobody was scared, nobody was hungry, nobody was even thirsty. They stayed there for seven days while Indra outside tried to rain and lightning and throw hail. And it was so scary outside, but under Govardhan Hill, it was beautiful. Everyone was so happy. Because usually everyone is everywhere and not all the time do they get to be with Krishna, everyone together. But now they were all together on the Govardhan Hill with Krishna and they were so happy. Look how happy they look. Oh, Hari Bo, Hari Bo. Finally, after seven days, Indra started to realize that this wasn't just a, a regular little boy in Vrindavan. I mean, he was holding up a hill. He realized that Krishna was the Supreme Personality of Godhead and he had made a mistake. So after seven days, it stopped raining and everyone was able to leave the shelter of Kovardhan Hill. And Indra showed up and he was very, very sorry. And he gave his obeisances to Krishna and said how very sorry he was that he had been so prideful and he would not do that again. So he went around Krishna, showed his respects, and Krishna forgave him. And everything was okay again in Vrindavan. And that, my friends, is why we 
celebrate Govardhan Puja because we're remembering how the people in Vrindavan took shelter of Krishna and how we as devotees of Krishna can always take shelter of him as well. That's true. Okay, my friends, thank you again for joining me for another Krishna Kids story and I look forward to seeing you for the next one. Haribo! Haribo!